Hi, I'm Christine with Kimbap TV, and this week we're going to talk about how to accentuate the qualities you already have, so you can pop even more at your next job interview, now Skype interviews, and obviously any other sort of on-camera or in-person work function that you may have. In order to do this, I gotta get a little bit vulnerable with you. That's why I brought you into my bedroom, so you can see how I get ready in the morning. This is a sample of products I currently use. For this video, I'll focus on three things. Eyeshadow, bronzer, and powder. First, let's focus on your eyes. I use a neutral shade of cream shadow as my primer and apply it across my eyelid. Starting from the base and up to where I feel my bone here. Then I take a dark eyeshadow, I like black, and start contouring from the outer part of my eye. I kind of start there and then I follow the shape of my eyebrow bone. I stop at about the halfway point, then switch to a light eyeshadow and work backwards. Starting from the base again and then kind of fanning it out to match roughly where the darker part is. Smear the two colors together where they meet in the middle, using an applicator or just your fingers. Now let's move on to a bronzer. A bronzer helps give my face shape and dimension. Find a deep color that is compatible with your complexion. And I was told to try doing the contouring almost like a Nike Air Swish. So when you smile, you got cheekbones, and under it is a Nike Air Swish. That's the idea, and then you blend the ends of it. I also dust off some bronzer along the bridge of my nose and around the outer edge of my face. And then I just pretty much color along my jawline until I hit the end right here. Can you tell the difference? My third tip is something my husband tried too. So I carry around with me a face powder. This one happens to be from Paul and Joe. Isn't it cute? It's Tom and Jerry. Typically around my T-zone is where I get, you know, more sparkly <laughs> in a way that I don't want. So I just pat, pat, pat. I let my husband borrow this on my wedding day because he was getting nervous and then he was starting to sweat a little and I'm like, oh honey, just put on the face powder because it's gonna keep you from looking like you're too nervous to get married to me. So he appreciated it. As I finish off the rest of my makeup, here's a bonus tip I learned over the years. If you're on TV, I was told many, many times not to use anything shimmery, even my eye shadow. You want it to be matte because you don't want any reflection off of the camera. But now that I'm doing this for Kimbap TV, I I know the rules enough that I'm starting to break them, and it's fun. Ta-da! So this is the completed look minus the hair. I'm gonna go and straighten that up. If you're working in an industry where being on camera or being in front of people is important, then I think looking your best is important too. Remember that the most important thing to put on while you're doing all this is your inner self-confidence. I hope this helped, and I'll see you again very soon. Have a great day.